Hello everyone, it's Sunday, November 26, 2017. My name is Morgan Hughes, and uh, this is the first in a series of Save the Crew vlogs, which is a combination of the word uh, video and vlog, so you're in for a rare treat. The reason I want to start doing these videos is because I did uh, an AMA on Reddit on Friday, and it just kind of reminded me that, that you know, regardless of what organization you're talking about, uh, or you're working for, working with, that, that organization can always, you know, work to better itself. And uh, I think that we have an opportunity to be more uh, communicative and do a better job of, of giving people a heads up on, on what's uh, happening, what we have planned, what projects they can get involved with, uh, and maybe just to clarify what we mean when we say certain things. These videos will probably evolve as I make them, so, you know, this edition might be different than the second edition, might be different from the 101st edition, might be different than the 1996th edition. Frankly, I hope I don't have to do very many of these. I hope that we save the crew tomorrow. Uh, so if that happens, uh, you know, maybe this will be the only uh, vlog. Tune in to find out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, today's topic is going to be a clarification on what we mean when we say, if they can do this to Columbus, they can do this to anybody. So what the situation is, is it's a chance for Major League Soccer to set a precedent going forward that says, uh, it's okay with you, the American soccer fan, if we move teams as we see fit. That is to say, they're asking us a very clear question. Is this okay with you? And the way that we respond as uh, fans of every team, and not just Columbus either, Seattle, Portland, Orlando, New York, LA, Kansas City, and every level of the American soccer pyramid. Is it okay with you as fans if we do this? And how we respond now to this situation is going to tell them whether or not we're okay with it. By not standing up to them and telling them no, we're giving them our permission to move into a new era of American soccer where teams can be picked up and moved whenever the ownership of Major League Soccer feels like it to whatever market they choose. Now, maybe a lot of people don't know this, but two weeks ago when uh, Mayor Andrew Ginther from Columbus and Alex Fisher from the Columbus Partnership were in New York to meet with Precourt Sports Ventures and Major League Soccer, uh, Don Garber and Anthony Precourt offered to let the city of Columbus uh, get in on the expansion process uh, for Major League Soccer teams. They told them, hey, uh, feel free to give us $5 million and we'll consider you guys uh, as an expansion city. We won't give you any uh, preferential treatment. We won't put you at the head of the line, even though you guys were the first team and uh, this market's been supporting this league for 23 years. Nah, just give us some money and we'll see what happens. That's not okay. That's not how this should work. We can't let that happen. We cannot tell them uh, in this situation that it's all right to operate like that going forward. This extortion ring that we're running uh, where we can just tell existing cities uh, there's a sexier city. There's a sexier group of individuals we'd like to get their money from. But feel free to give us $5 million and we'll consider giving you another team. That cannot be allowed to happen. That can't be commonplace. It's not normal and it can't be normal going forward, and it's on us to tell them whether or not that's going to be the new normal. How we respond to the situation, it's going to tell them yes or no. Now at this meeting in New York, Columbus came to the table with multiple stadium sites, multiple co-investor uh, situations, multiple complete buyout scenarios, and uh, after all that, Major League Soccer turned around and said they didn't bring anything to the table. They, didn't, they weren't willing to discuss anything. It's garbage. It's a lie. And if we take this, if we say that's all right, that's how they're going to treat every single market when they want to get more money out of somewhere else or they just want to pit one city up against another. It's not okay. I mean, or is it? Is it okay? It's up to us to decide. The important thing to keep in mind in this situation when we're talking about Columbus you know, applying for an expansion franchise is that we already have a team. We have had a team for 23 years, Columbus Crew SC, the first team in the league who built the first soccer-specific stadium. And if you think that they're going to just do that to Columbus and stop, you're out of your mind. Again, this sets a precedent going forward that they can do this whenever they feel like it. And you think the Hunger Games for expansion franchises and, and, and relocation franchises has started yet? Wait until they fill all of the expansion slots. That, that is going to be a disgusting era if we allow it to happen. You're going to see all these cities that up until now uh, have been promoting them, themselves as, as a destination for soccer, saying, we're so great, this is why MLS should come here. 
they're going to start attacking other cities because the precedent has been set that all you have to do is make another city look bad and you can take their franchise. And the owners of MLS will be all too willing to play that game because we will have told them as soccer fans that it's okay to play that game. And when they come for your team, they're going to cite business metrics. Want to see exactly how shady those business metrics are and how easily they can manipulate them to make you look bad? Click the link below. They have ways of making you look bad. They did it to Columbus this year. They can do it to you. Whoever is sitting in the bottom three of these business metrics that they've put together, whoever sits in the bottom three is, uh, is just, you know, about to be swallowed up by another city. That's the new normal that they want to exist. That's the tone they want to set moving forward. And if you don't think that they're going to come for your team, I got news for you. They're going to. Colorado, that, that stadium was built a long time ago. You know, we're talking about, what, a 10-year-old stadium? Uh, come on. Uh, Sacramento's offering us more. Houston, Dallas, hey, we got this bright, shiny new toy here in Austin. We don't need you guys anymore. You're sitting at, uh, at 22 and 23 in the uh, attendance rankings. Guess what? We're going to move you somewhere else. But feel free to give us $5 million, and, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll consider you for the next uh, disgusting uprooting of another team. Maybe, maybe you can get, maybe you can get the, the revolution. Maybe we'll send them your way. Two teams in LA, that seems a bit much. Uh, LA Galaxy isn't as sexy as LAFC. It might be time to rethink our commitment to the Carson area. NYCFC is brighter and shinier and newer than you are, Red Bull, and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a challenge to get there from New York on public transportation, so you're gone too. Your owners don't care about the fans. They don't care about you, and they're showing those true colors by the way that they're handling or not handling or not acknowledging this situation with Columbus. Major League Soccer is a single entity system, so these owners of the other teams make money off of us just the way that, that we make money off of you. So we're their customers as much as you are, and they're showing you what they think of you by the way that they're treating us. You think that they feel differently about you because you know that they own the team in your market? We thought the same thing because our owner said the same thing to us. He used the same words that he's now using in Austin and your owners will do the same thing because the precedent has been set, the tone has been set, the new normal now exists where we can just go wherever we want and do whatever we want and you have nothing to say about it because you didn't say anything to begin with. You told us this was all right. If they think they can make more money off of someone else that exists somewhere else, they will leave you in a heartbeat and they'll leave your community high and dry. And they'll do that because this precedent was set with Columbus, with Austin. You guys didn't say anything when we started this whole thing with Columbus, so, you know, we just thought it was cool. Sorry, it's too late now. Uh, the Mayflower trucks are already packed up in the middle of the night, nothing we can do. But don't worry, they'll say, give us your $5 million and we'll consider you for the next round of uh, MLS movement when we get rid of sporting, uh, when we get rid of Real Salt Lake, uh, when we don't think that we need three teams in Cascadia, when the Whitecaps are gone. We'll consider you again, Dallas, Houston, Columbus. Pick any city in America. They can do this to you because it was put into motion by crew moving to Texas. We said it was okay because we didn't say anything at all. So to recap, if they can do this to Columbus, they can do this to anybody, what does that mean? It means that they will do this to anybody because we've told them that it's okay. So we have a choice to make right now, all of us as American soccer fans. Is this how we want the world to work? Is this how we want professional soccer in America to work? Using your voice, vote right now, yes or no. Is this okay or is this not okay? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Thanks for watching. Save the crew. The future of Columbus and the future of the Columbus Crew SC are tied together. We need each other to succeed.